Hi everybody and welcome back to Total OS Today. Well, I believe that everybody's favorite love it or hate it Linux based operating system is back after after a very short six months and that is of course the Ubuntu operating system coming from the folks at Canonical. Now this is the 64-bit uh, edition that I downloaded inside a virtual machine with Windows 7 as the host. Now this will be a very 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 quick look at Ubuntu 11.10 Oniric Ocelot. If you would like a more detailed expanded review comparison of this versus Windows 7 uh, take a look at the previous video that I did of this months ago. I will post a link to that video below in the show notes. So this is Ubuntu with Unity. Let me full screen it here. And like I said, this is 11.10. Now, months ago when this came out, it seemed like some of you loved it or hate it. When I first took a look at this, I wasn't sure I was going to like it, but after playing with it a while, it kind of grew on me, and I liked it back then, and I liked it now. So, there are some changes to this, including the removal of the Synaptic Package Manager for installing or uninstalling software. That is something that I could take it or leave it as a Windows user. But one of the nicest things that I've noticed right off the bat is the change in the Ubuntu Software Center. Now let me navigate here to the left. I'm going to click Ubuntu Software Center. Once again, if you would like a more detailed look at this, please take a look at the previous video. But this is the Ubuntu Software Center. And I must say, this looks terrific. Terrific! It is, has been completely redone. To the top layer, we, top here at the left, we have all software, installed software, history, the search bar. To the left, we have the categories of software from accessories all the way down to universal access. The top here in the middle, something called Braid. I'm not sure what that is. I'm assuming it's a piece of software. But here we have two blocks of software. Here we have what's new. And these are uh, pieces of applications, pieces of software that you can download. And they are rated accordingly, favorited, I guess. And they have cost to this here, various uh, prices here. The bottom block, which is top rated software, these are freebies. And what stands out here is VLC, a very nice media player for both Windows and or Linux based operating systems. Now, another thing I've noticed, the buttons, the menu function buttons are to the left and not to the right. I prefer them to the right. I am right-handed. Now this can be tweaked or changed to move them to the right, but I will leave it here to the left for now. Now let me give you some quick thoughts about this. When I did this six months ago, I was trying to compare this to Windows 7. Now whether that's a fair comparison or not, I'll leave that to you guys. Some of you loved Unity, some of you hated it. Those who, who like liked Unity back then, including myself, I see no reason why you are not going to like this any better. This is basically a follow-up, of course, but it is more of a polishing up, a tune-up, and improvement over 11.04. So once again, if you liked Unity before, you're probably going to like this, Unity Part 2, as I like to call it. I have been running this inside a virtual machine for about two hours now. No crashes. It appears to be stable, at least so far. That's, that's a good sign. If you can run anything inside a virtual machine and it runs stable, I'm going to guess chances are if you install this fully as your main operating system or as a dual boot alongside of Windows 7, you're probably going to be okay. But that being said, make sure you back up everything first, first before you install any kind of Linux dual boot next to Windows 7. So how does this compare to Windows 7? Well, I think it looks prettier, for lack of a better term. I think it looks nicer. Is it going to be more functionable, more easy to navigate around? For myself, I've had no problems whatsoever using both. For you, the best answer that I can give you is at least download it, try it, and let me know what you think. I think it looks terrific, and I think it is a fine addition 
to the Ubuntu family of OSs, which includes, of course, Kubuntu, KUbuntu, LUbuntu, XUbuntu, so on and so forth. But right, my recommendation for this, for all you Windows users out there, is to at least try it. I think it looks terrific. Well, that's it for this screencast for Ubuntu 64-bit edition that I've been using here. And this is Unity, the Unity desktop interface, 11.10 Oniric Ocelot. Thanks so much for watching, and as always, I will catch you guys sometime in the future.